You can start, Danny. Great. Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, even good evening to, uh, to everybody. And thank you for joining us again. Very excited to be here on this rainy day uh, and uh, to talk to you guys about remote collaboration. Uh, should we just give another second or two, Martina? Because we see a lot of people uh, joining the, the webinar. I'm looking at the control panel on my left over here, and I see that number is, is quickly rising. So we'll give it another 15 seconds. Takes the system a little time to uh, to come on. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You know, typically in this situation, we'd go around the room and everybody would introduce themselves online, but I think we're gonna, we're gonna skip that today. <laughs> See <laughs> the tens of people, we have close to 100 people joining us right now. So great. Okay. So let's let's kick things off. So um, again, thank you for for joining. And um, Alex, could you uh, move forward? One slide. Great. So for uh, those of you who we have not had the pleasure to to meet yet, my name is Danny, and I head up uh, Optitex Global Sales. And uh, today we're going to talk to you about collaborating, and not just collaborating remote collaboration, which is a really a, a whole different animal. Um, I'm not going to uh, spend time talking about the importance of, of working remotely and being able to collaborate remotely. Uh, as I sit here in my uh, my my bunker uh, against uh, all of the, the, the COVID germs and the zombies that are that are chasing us outside, I, I think that's pretty clear to, to everybody. But there's a lot of uh, other aspects um, besides, besides just having to work remotely. It's how do you do it safely? How do you do it effectively? Uh, we can't risk losing our productivity. Uh, we've seen a lot more hours uh, when we work from home, but we wanna see also a lot more productivity, getting more done, moving the business forward, um, and with the challenges that we face on a day-to-day -day basis including how do you do this around the world? How do you do this when you're working in multiple different multiple time zones? And of course, languages. Um, none of this is particularly new. We do this on a daily basis. We did this the day before uh, COVID hit us, and we're going to do it the day after, after it ends. But how can we use technology to make all of this easier? And how can we use these 3D assets that you've created on our, on our, on our platform to move your business forward. I call that 3D part two. And we should call it 4D. I don't know, but uh, can you move forward the slide? Oops. Yep, thanks. So today we're gonna talk to you about uh, literally how we, how we connect the dots, how we bring together disparate teams, teams working from around the globe to keep that level of productivity and keep that level of, 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 of efficiency using the tools that you would have had had you been in the, in the office, had you been able to go tap on your neighbor's door or your neighbor's cubicle and say, hey, can I see that swatch? Can I see what that, uh, what that graphic looked like again? Uh, can't do that when you're, when you're sitting home in your living room in your slippers, but you can do it by using uh, the Optitex uh, O-Cloud solution. So um, we've, we've, uh, we've redesigned the system really from, from the ground up. We've made it faster, we've made it more robust, and we've made it uh, even easier to use. Now, we're, we're gonna walk you through a, a demonstration, um, and uh, Alex will call out to say, think right now as a designer, think right now as a pattern maker, um, and uh, put on those different hats while, while, we, uh, while we walk through it. Um, also keep in mind that what you're about to see is completely browser-based. So you don't need the uh, OptiTex development uh, solution on your desktop. You don't, you don't necessarily need to have your desktop, right? And wherever you are in the world and wherever you're in the middle of doing, you'll be able to access uh, uh, your collection, review it, comment, uh, and, and, uh, and see that all in real time. Can you... Uh, Go to the next slide, Alex. Yeah. So I, I mentioned earlier uh, 3D part two, 
And uh, in each of our, our webinars that we've had earlier, we've talked about everything besides reducing uh, reducing the number the amount of sampling that you do. We didn't talk about increasing your your uh, your uh, lead time or decreasing your your lead times. We talked about digital transformation and we talked about the different ways that you can use these digital assets that you're creating to do everything that I just uh, just mentioned but use it to, in order to to propel your business forward and we had a, a session about uh, avatars and being able to choose the correct avatar for the for the role that you have be it fit be it online marketing be it collection reviews in-store mannequins whatever you can do all of that with the avatars uh, insight, um, insight into your product lines. We did a, a, a great webinar with, um, with First Insight and talked about how you can use your 3D assets to see, to, to tell the future, to share them with your, with your customers, get feedback long before you've placed an order for, for the, the very first sample. Um, and uh, just, uh, what was about two weeks ago, uh, we took it one step further and we showed how we work with with some of the leading platforms and 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 transformational and really exciting new technologies out there such as beyond xr which has a digital showroom so that you can sell your your products if you're if you're a wholesaler you can review your collections um uh remotely even uh, um even more robustly after they've been concluded um and today we're going to talk about using your 3d assets in order to collaborate now, um, this is our second to last webinar for the, uh, for the fall and winter. And uh, uh, stay tuned, come back uh, for our, our next uh, webinar, which will be on December 2nd, talking about how can you use uh, the OptiDex 3D platform with its built-in tools to cost items while you're in the process of, of developing them. How many times have you had the nasty surprise of uh, not hitting a price point uh, and only discovering that way into the, the process. So uh, be on the lookout for that email and please come back and visit us uh, again. Alex, go to the next slide. So uh, I'm not alone today. Uh, I have the pleasure of being accompanied by uh, uh, Shani Segev, who is our product manager and, uh, and responsible for our user experience. And she'll be uh, available at the end to, to answer some questions. And uh, many of you probably already are familiar with Alexandra, um, and she is a solution specialist, and she's going to walk us through the, the system uh, live. Okay, Alex? Okay. So just a little housekeeping. Um, we've, uh, your, your microphones are, are muted, so if you have a question, and we encourage questions, please shoot it over to us via the, the chat function and Martina will, will, um, will collect them and we'll do our best to respond to them at the end. If the question is, is very specific to a, a particular use case, we'll get back to you offline. Um, the event is being recorded, so you can come back later and, uh, and check it out again and, uh, or share it with your friends that couldn't make, uh, join us today. So without further ado, Alex, I'm gonna hand over the, the stage to you to walk us through uh, a live demonstration of the system. Okay, thank you very much, Danny. Uh, I will turn off my camera just for uh, net issues. Um, so, so hello and uh, welcome to our autumn winter webinar, uh, which will be a tour into our uh, new cloud platform. Um, my name is Alexandra Vasilaki and I am solution specialist at Optitex. So in our journey today, uh, I will show you how you can uh, improve and make more accurate uh, your communication between you and your partners, such as uh, clients, designers, buyers, or manufacturers. Uh, let me give you an explanation of this uh, process before we jump into the live demo. So after we have developed the digital sample, then we are ready to share this uh, 3D asset into the cloud. There we are going to live uh, um, a contactless experience of a fitting session in which we can uh, add our comments, we can require for uh, more samples. 
So we will have the chance in one place to review all the previous samples of the specific styles that we have requested. So after that, we will also be able to seal uh, samples online and then create uh, our uh, digital uh, collections. So let me show you all this, how we can do it live. So logging into our uh, cloud platform, each user can log in into their organization where they have uh, uploaded their styles. As we mentioned before, you don't need any special uh, installation. You just need the subscription and from any browser, you can log in and you can see your own organization. And the admin of that organization will be able to create clients and users. And uh, there they can uh, assign specific uh, rights of which collection or which folder each user will be able to log in. Moreover, the admin will also be able to build filters so they can make the uh, search selection easier. So you can make uh, uh, selections by uh, seasons or by categories or whatever is convenient for you to work. So as the main page, will uh, go you through to the um, general uh, information of your collection, then you can create folders and subfolders where you can uh, upload all the relevant files for the specific style. So once I have a folder containing all the info for this specific jumpsuit, I can upload not only the 3D uh, file of Optitex, but I can also upload files uh, such as a PNG or JPEG files, which might contain prints and graphics for the specific file or Excel files that can give me some information regarding the costing, or even a PDF file, which uh, um, maybe the designer uploaded to give to the uh, pattern maker uh, the instructions of the new style. Here they can see uh, the technical sketch or even some inspirational photos in order to start creating the 2D uh, file. So into the 2D environment of Optitex, the pattern maker will be able to uh, develop the first sample. And by choosing the appropriate avatar size, they can stitch and simulate it on the avatar. Before they share it with the other partners, they will also be able to check fitting and how that uh, all the technical details of the garment. So once they are happy with this result, now they will be able to upload it into the cloud. So in order to upload it the cloud, you can again select in which folder of your collection you would like to upload this style. And there you can also add some uh, information regarding uh, who did this pattern on which date you did it. And you can also find information about the sizes that you have created for this style or informations, information regarding the fabric that you have applied on these pieces. And then you will be ready to upload this file on the cloud. So on the cloud side, the user from any side of the world can log in with their own a username and password and can see this 3D view. So anytime they will be able to zoom and check all the details, stitches, trims, whatever they have applied on this garment. They will have the possibility to see this garment with or without the avatar in different views, such as front, back, side, top view, where I can see the shape of the neckline. I can sew and hide the stitches. Or in case that uh, they have uploaded uh, on this style different colorways, I can jump from one colorway to the other. But, but most important in this virtual fit room is that I can use tools such as pins or arrows and rectangulars that I can highlight areas and I can add messages. Messages requesting amendments. Let's say, for example, I can ask to uh, put uh, the uh, waistline uh, lower by 2 cm. So once I submit this message, 
all the people who have the right to see the specific style, they're going to receive a message that somebody adds a comment. So we can log in and we can see where this message corresponds. As you understand, in this environment, they can log in people from different sides of the world, people with talking different um, languages. So easily we can translate these messages that they might have been written into another local language into our language by using Google Translator. So by this way, we can avoid any misunderstanding and miscommunication. So all these comments now that we have on, the, uh, on this field, we can download it into an Excel file. And that file can be added in, in any uh, design tech file, or we can even import it into our PLM system. So once, let's say, uh, the designer, Nicole Callender, add me a comment asking me to change the, uh, uh, <clears throat> the sleeve, me as pattern maker, who I might be located in another country, I can translate it and then I can go back into the uh, pattern design system of Optitex and by using the 2D tools, I can easily and very fast do the amendments that I have been asked for to do. So once I do these amendments, I just need to refresh uh, this uh, uh, 3D view and upload the file again on the cloud. This time I will be able to uh, go through different versions of this style. So I, I can open any uh, previous or new uh, revision of this file through this dialog. And that it gives me the possibility anytime, not only to see it, but also to download this 2D file. So once I get the new file with the amendments that I have requested, I might repeat the same process, adding more comments, or I can approve this style, or even I can ask to, uh, to send me other colorways as well as a physical sample. So, Again, going back to the, um, to the duty area, the user can start now building the aesthetic part of this garment. They can apply um, stitches and trims that can be uh, imported from Optitex library. And they can also start applying uh, different colors such as um, RGB or uh, Pantone code in order to apply a plain color on this uh, screen. Or if I would like to apply a printed fabric, I can select the pieces and I can apply on these pieces any printed fabric that can be uh, RGB or uh, PNG uh, format. Change the scale to see how that will look like even before I make any physical sample. I can check how uh, the contrast colors of the stitches, they might work or the, uh, the zipper. And once I'm happy with this result, I can uh, generate the images, the photorealistic images with or without the avatar by saving a single image, just the current view, or I can save the 36 images in order to create 360 degrees file. So these images, again, I will be able to upload them into the same folder where I have gathered all the files for the specific jumpsuit. And I can have them as 360 views, which I can see the garment all around. I can stop anytime and I can zoom to check the details of the specific style or I can just upload single images and I can go through the other colorways and see how this jumpsuit will look like in another color before I ask the uh, physical sum. So all these uh, images after that, I can gather them in one place where I can create a digital collection. Here, uh, it's uh, very important to tell you that without having any physical sample, I can go into a, a meeting where I can present uh, the collection on time 
without the need to create any PowerPoint presentation or without the need to, to do any printouts of the, of the collection. I just log in and see my collection and easily I can search for uh, styles. I can just click in the filter selection and I can choose which kind of category I would like each time to see on my screen or if I would like to make a combination between two different categories I can immediately see it on the screen and present my current uh, collection. So to summarize uh, what we see today uh, our Optitex cloud platform gives you a uh, flexibility, saves you a lot of time, gives you the possibility to do virtual fittings on time, communicate with your partners. Nowadays, that is difficult to travel all around the world. We can just sit in front of our screen and do a virtual fitting, adding comments and requesting for new uh, samples. Moreover, we can gather all our uh, garments and put them in a collection where we can present the styles very fast on time without the need of any physical sample. And most important, very easily and very fast, we can make many, many uh, different color combinations. So thank you very much for your time. And I think now it's time for your questions. So, Danny? Can you hear me? I think yeah. you're in mute. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, no longer. I think the when my, my my grandchildren someday ask me about the hardest part of the the COVID period, I'm going to say it's going to be finding the unmute button during conference calls. Um, so yeah, but I found it. Okay, I'm going to move my screen over here so I go. Oh, got a bunch of questions. Okay. Uh, Shani, let's talk a little about uh, collabor uh, sharing of files. Um, is there a, can you share files with, with anyone you want? How, how exactly does that work? Yes, so um, first of all, hello everyone and welcome. Um, you can share files with anyone who is part of your company and anyone who is part of your team. So the managers, the administrator of of a company are able to select who can see and who can access um, the files in your uh, workspace, in your collection. Um, and it is done very easily and very transparent. So you can always know who has access to those files. Okay, great. And if we're already uh, asking a question, Shani, um, there's a, there's a follow-up about actually about uh, questions about limits. Is there any limit to the, uh, the amount of files that you can uh, put up on our cloud? No, no you, can upload, you can upload any file type as Alexandra showed us, um, any file type that is needed for the development process, any, uh, any number of uh, revisions of that file. So you know that you have the history um, and you can always see how your style has evolved over time. Okay, great. And uh, wow, we're already, uh, we're, we're, we're gonna make three the lucky winner here, Shani, for you. They had another question. Um, let's, let's talk about, about fit and, and, and uh, using avatars for fit on the, uh, uh, on the site. I know we're getting ready to release a, a bunch of functionality towards that. Would you go into some details? Um, sure. Oh, so we very. So we just released O Cloud last week. Oh, are you yeah, okay you're now? okay now. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, so we just released O Cloud last week, uh, which is a very, very exciting thing for us. Um, and this is just the beginning, and we are planning to release also uh, fit capabilities uh, in the next coming in the in the next couple of months. Um, that will allow you to do to view the stretch maps and distance and the mesh view. So you can also take those activities and do them on the cloud anytime you need to and anywhere. So stay tuned because it's very, very close. 
Okay, great. All right. And um, so let's talk a little about uh, PLM. So mm -hmm. there have been some questions about, uh, about where does PLM fit in? Because uh, uh, most uh, large organizations or many large organizations will have a PLM system, which they'll use for collaboration. So uh, uh, Shani or mm -hmm. Alex, how do you guys see this sitting next to a PLM system? Shani, Alex, do, you do you want, want to? Oh, okay. Uh, so, sure. Yeah. Uh, we have the possibility to uh, import uh, information that we get from cloud. Uh, directly to a PLM system, such as uh, the comments that uh, we write for uh, the amendments into the virtual feed, as well as, of course, we can share all the 3D files and the images and everything that we need to create the specific file. All this can be imported into a PLM system. Yes. Okay, great. Well, the way I see it, um, OCloud can, uh, in, in some place, can complement a PLM. Um, I believe that most PLM systems don't have a 3D viewer and 3D capabilities. So um, I think the being a cloud product, it opens the possibilities and opportunities for us to uh, either connect it directly to other PLM systems um, or any other types of uh, integrations. <coughs> can really, as Alex said, um, it complements, you can add the comments on the 3D directly, you can then take them from OCloud and place them in the PLM where you need it. Pretty exciting. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, uh, large customers that work with both systems. Um, and we even have some that will use uh, the, the this platform uh, for the, exactly for the for the earlier collaboration and for the early drafting and iterations before moving it over to the uh, to to the PLM but you're always able to pull information out from your fabric libraries etc uh, we have a, a separate webinar uh, coming up soon which will actually it will be in Italian but uh, we'd be talking about some PLM integration with our systems but uh, we're, so we'll that's a, that's a subject in and, in and of itself, we'll be doing that one with uh, with Centric. Um, so for the Italian speakers out there, uh, feel feel free to join us. Okay. So um, actually, we've covered uh, a lot of these, and um, so I think what we're going to conclude with 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 one question, Shinny. Mm -hmm. When can people get their hands on it? Oh wow! Uh, today. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> So feel free to reach out to us, uh, to our sales team, um, and we are ready to welcome you to the platform, um, give you demos and uh, do trials as you need to, uh, but we are ready for you. So uh, please be in touch. Always room for one more, right? <laughs> oh. Great. So, um, so with that, uh, I'm gonna say thank you again and remind everybody to uh, to come visit us again on the second for a, uh, a completely different uh, discussion on uh, using uh, uh, the, the tools that are already at uh, your, your disposal within our system uh, for costing and, uh, and for making sure you, you hit your pricing goals. So thank you everybody and uh, be on the lookout for email with the recordings, uh, et cetera. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you everybody. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Bye.